Now sometimes people ask me, how do you measure for concrete and how much concrete do you use? Uh, I do it my own way. I know everybody does it different. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But this is the way I do it. This is a sidewalk report today. So, go from here to here and I got 24 feet. Well, I'm going to figure 25. Right here, I got 44 inches. I'm going to figure four feet. And I know the sidewalk goes down four, four and a half inches. I'm going to figure five inches. So it's 25 feet by four feet by five inches. That's what I'm going to figure out. I'm going to show you how I do it on the, the concrete calculator. Now, in the real world of masonry, this is what I use 95% of the time. It's called a concrete calculator. Sometimes I'll just call up the concrete company and ask them. And we're going to do that first. And then I'm going to show you uh, how to use this concrete calculator plus a couple other ways of doing it. And then we're walking into the office of a concrete company. Good morning, Mike. How are you today? Good, Mark. Uh, Good. This is Mark Oli. He is the owner of Oli Industries, the concrete company. Hi. And uh, usually if I don't have my concrete calculator, I call them up and uh, I ask them. I'll say, Mark, I need 25, 25 feet times 4 feet times 5 inches. How much concrete do I need? A yard and three quarters, Mike. Okay, that's the way uh, I do it if I forget my concrete calculator. Now this is what is called a concrete calculator. I've been using it for 50 years. My father used it. Everybody uses it. I don't know anybody who doesn't. I always have a couple in the truck and we're going to take a look at it. Over here on this scale we have the thickness, we have the height or width, and the length, and then it tells you how many cubic yards you need. So how I use it on this example is I know over here is five inches. See? Two, two and a half, three inches, four inches, five inches. And just for the width, we know it was four feet wide. So we take the four feet, we come over until that matches up. Four feet. See that? Right there. And you know I overkilled it. And we got four feet. Now we go back over here, and it says length. You see the length? We know it's 25 feet long, so we go to 25 feet. And then the yards are down here. You see this is three quarter yards, this is one yard, this is a yard and a quarter, this is a yard and a half. So we know 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, it's a yard, a little over a yard and a half. That's why Mark down there said a yard and three quarters, and he's right. Every time I do it, I always over... Uh, order because I'd rather throw it away. I always tell the concrete truck driver, take it back with you. Okay, we're over here at an engineer's house and this is a construction calculator. And this guy had like 14 years of education before he quit in the seventh grade. And then he worked for the government. So he's going to show us how to use one of these highfalutin uh, construction calculators. So, Dave, 25 feet. Okay, Mike. 25 feet it has a feet marker, so we put that in. Right. Times times four feet. Four feet times uh, five inches deep. Okay, five and it has an inches button, so we put that in there, and we hit equal. Gives us a total of four point or forty one point six six cubic feet, and we convert that to yards by just putting convert yards, and it converts it to one point five four cubic yards of concrete. We know that you're doing twenty five feet by four feet by Five inches. Well, right. we got to find out what the what the calculation is for five inches. What that's equal to in feet. So it'd be five inches divided by twelve inches equals. So the thickness of our concrete is 0 0.416 feet. Right. So since we have that calculation, we're going to multiply that by twenty-five feet times four feet equals forty-one point six six cubic feet. Right. Now, to get to cubic yards, we have to divide 41.66 by 27. 
And the reason we do 27 because there's 27 cubic feet in a yard of concrete. That gives us 1.54 cubic yards of concrete for the job. Now we're going to pour this footer. And I know that this section right here is 11 feet by 11 feet by 10 inches deep. This section is 6 feet by 6 feet and it's 12 inches deep. So we got our two blocks and we're going to check it out now and see how much concrete we need. Now we're going to go back to the way I'm doing it and right here it's 11 feet right here by 11 feet we're going to do this box by 10 inches so we're going to get our calculator out here and our thickness is 10 inches which is right there and we're going to come to 11 feet 10 inches by 11 feet right there see there's the 10 inches the thickness and we're going to our width which is 11 feet 10 by 11 then we go down here in 11 and we see there's three, three and a quarter, three and a half, almost three and three quarter yards. So I'm going to figure three and three quarter yards. Now for the second one, it's uh, this box right here, which is six by six by 12 inches. So we're going to get up in here in our concrete calculator. We're going to find 12 inches, which is right there. And we want to go by 6 feet. There's 12 by 6. See, again, there's our width. Here's our length. And we're going to look for 6 down here. Here's the 6. Here's our cubic yards. 1, 1 and a quarter, 6. It's a little, little uh, less than an inch and a half. So, or a yard and a half. So we're going to put 1 yard and a half, which equals, for the whole job, five and a quarter yards but I told you it's a nightmare it cost you a lot of money if you make mistakes you get cold joints so I'm gonna figure five and three quarter yards uh, I always want extra and that's the way I do it 